Welcome to the course on advanced machining processes. Today we are going to discuss on wire EDM process, electro discharge grinding process and electro discharge diamond grinding process. So, first we shall start with electro wire electro discharge machining process. Last class we have discussed about the EDM process, electro discharge machining process. So, we have discussed the working principle of this electro discharge machining process. This wire EDM also works on the same principle of EDM process, everything is same, but the here in wire EDM process instead of tool electrode, a wire is used as an electrode. Okay. So, there is a traveling wire is there which is which serves as an electrode. The definition is that electric discharge machining wire cutting EDM WC is a thermal mass reducing process that uses a continuously moving wire to remove material by means of rapid control repetitive spark, spark discharges. So, there is a moving wire is there. So, sparking occurs in between this wire and the workpiece surface. So, by using this process any kind of complex free form surface either 2 D or 3 D can be machine. So, any complex three form surface on 2D surface or 3D surface also can be machine. Mostly different kinds of dyes and molds are actually generated or fabricated or machined by using this wire EDM. Because there is a very small diameter wire which passes through the work pieces. So, in between this wire and work piece, this inter electrode gap very small inter loaded gap less than 25 micron is maintained. So, any complicated surface can be generated by moving this wire. So, this wire you can tilt in x direction, you can move this wire in y direction, you can move, you can tilt this wire in back and forth, left and right. So, any kind of complicated surface can be machined by this wire EDM process, which is not possible by normal die sinking EDM process. So, this process characteristics utilizes a traveling wire that advances within arcing distance of work piece. So, this inter electrode gap is maintained as 0 0.001 inch, removes material by rapid control and repetitive spark. So, spark occurs in between this wire and the work piece. So, it is dielectric fluid to flush away the removed particles control. So, it controls this dielectric fluid control the discharges. Also, this dielectric fluid cools down the wire as well as the work piece. The wire and work piece must be electrically conductive. Obviously, this wire because it works on the same principle of EDM, this wire and work piece should be electrically conductive. So, it can produce complex two dimensional shapes. <coughs> also, three dimensional shapes can be generated by moving this wire into a on a by moving this wire and work piece on a CNC XYZ table. So, this is the schematic diagram of wire EDM process. So, this is the work piece here. So, there is a two wheels are there there is a traveling wheel is there. So, this is the wire supply wheel and this one is the work a uh, wire take up wheel. So, this is the two wheels are there. So, this is the wire supply wheel and this one is the wire take up wheel and there is a wire guide system is there and there is a nozzle. So, through this nozzle actually this dielectric actually flows in between this wire and work piece where you are doing the machining operation. So, there is a CNC control table or table is there. On that CNC control table, you keep your work piece. So, here you can see the exerted view of the machining zone. So, this is the curve, it is generated. Curve means this wire diameter. So, whatever material you are removing, so this diameter, uh, this width of that cut is more than your diameter of the wire. So, this spark gap. So, in between this wire and work piece, so this is the spark gap here and this is the wire diameter here. 
you can see this depth means width of cut is more than your diameter of the wire. So, this is the <coughs> schematic diagram of the wire EDM setter. Here one more thing I am to say that a normal EDM process you do not need to make a hole into the workpiece surface, but in wire cut EDM process to make a contour surface on the workpiece. So, first you have to move you have to uh, move the wire through the workpiece. So, initially there is a hole one hole has to be made into that workpiece a through hole has to be made. So, that this wire can pass through the workpiece and when it passes through the workpiece then you can start cutting. So, initial one hole has to be made which is not required in normal die, die sinking EDM process, but it is required in wire EDM process. So, here you can see there are four axis motion. So, this is the x axis x axis motion of the table and this is the x axis motion, this is the y axis motion of the table. Also there is a tilting mechanism is there. So, you can tilt the wire in forward and backward direction. So, you can consider this one as a U drive and you can tilt the wire in left and right motion, left and right direction. So, at you can tilt the wire at different angle. So, different kinds of shapes can be generated by tilting this wire in forward backward direction or left and right direction. So, the limitation of the or capability of the wide ADM setup can be represented by the maximum tilting angle it can move the wire, it can bend the wire. So, this is the work table here, it is connected to the CNC machine. So, any complex shape can be generated. So, this is the taper angle. So, there is a wire guide system is there, this is the take up wheel, take up reel and this is the wire feeding system. So, wire is so bigger size wheel, uh, wheel is used, reel is used. So, from this reel actually your wire is coming, very small diameter wires are coming. So, it is moving through a wire guide system and then it is passing through the work piece then in there is a wire guide system is there, then wire tensioning system is there and then it is coming to the take up rail. So, this x and y and u and v axis drives actually they are controlled by CNC machine, CNC controller. So, that is a controller unit is there. So, that can be controlled. So, here this dielectric is used as deionized water. So, deionized water is used as a dielectric fluid. So, power supply also here pulsating DC, pulse DC power supply is used in wire EDM process. So, working principle of wire is same as the EDM process. What about the working principle here also same working principle of EDM, the sparks generate in between this wire and the work piece. But here this wire diameter is very less, it is up to 0 0.15 millimeter to 0.3 millimeter. So, that is a very small diameter wires are reduced. Small diameter wires are chosen because you can make any complicated shape and your curve width will be very less. So, that is why small diameter wires are chosen. But if you choose very small diameter wire, then your current carrying capacity also will reduce. So, that is a optimization at what should be the diameter of your wire. So, you have to choose your wire based on your application. So, it is compared with the band saw. So, in case of band saw this thickness of the saw actually determines what should be the curve or width of cut generates into the workpiece surface. Here also you can see here diameter of the wire actually generates how much will be the curve of curve on the slot generated on the workpiece surface. So, here sparking between the work and the wire and workpiece generates. So, you know this in EDM process because of this sparking that is erosion in workpiece as well as in the tool also in both the electrodes that is erosion is there. So, wire also 
means after sparking <coughs> there is a erosion in wire as well as in the workpiece surface. But the same wire actually it is not same wire is not used. So, it is not reused because these wires are very cheap. Okay, but after uh, also it is not used because this after sparking because this we are uh, means erosion occurs in the wire also this diameter of the wire or cross section at different cross section diameter of the wires at different cross section also changes. So, its diameter becomes non uniform. So, using this non uniform diameter wire if you do the machining you will get different kinds of curves different curve shape into the workpiece surface. So, you will not get the same curve shape or you will not get the uniform workpiece surface by using that already used wire. So, these wires are not used after machining these wires are actually discarded. So, <coughs> main difference is that here deionized water is used and also here these nozzles one nozzles actually uh, kept through this nozzle actually deionized water is actually flown in between this wire and the workpiece surface. Also it, it should be a very good idea if you can make along the axis of the wire if you can you can flow the dielectric fluid. So, it will effectively flush away whatever debris are there it will effectively flush away the debris. So, workpiece material as, as in ADM process here also electrically conducting workpiece material can be used. So, this tool here or electrode here tool diameter is 0 0.05 millimeter to 0 0.3 millimeter diameter which is very less diameter. Based on your application if you are machining very accurate and also if you are machining very fragile or thin or accurate uh, machining is required. So, very fragile on a fragile workpiece and very accurate work, work, uh, machining is required in that case you will reduce the diameter of this wire. But if you reduce the diameter of your wire, so your material removal rate will reduce because your current carrying capacity of this wire will also reduce. So, it may happen that this wire will frequently breaks, will frequently break if we are using higher current through this small diameter wire. So, based on your application, based on your material, so you have to choose your wire diameter. Generally, it is get 0 0.05 to 0 0.3 millimeter, very small diameter wire is used. So, dielectric here only deionized water is used for wire ADM process. It has certain advantages, we shall discuss all these things. So, metal humor also because of the sparking occurs in between this wire and on the workpiece a very small gap that is 25 micron is maintained by a positioning system, positioning control system. So, very small gap is maintained 25 micron. So, sparking occurs in between this wire and the workpiece. So, this material removal takes place because of this melting and vaporization of this workpiece material. So, it is the same concept of EDM process. Constant inter electrode gap is maintained by computer control positioning system. So, this positioning system is very much important. So, because of this positioning system, very small diameter inter electrode, small inter electrode gap is maintained that is 25 micron. So, can cut complicated contours, any complicated contours can cut by using this positioning system. So, we can get high degree of accuracy and good surface finish by using this wire EDM process. So, in this wire EDM process there are 4 units of this wire EDM process, wire EDM machining setup. So, you can see here. So, first one is the your power supply DC power supply, pulse DC power supply is the first one. So, DC power supply then wire positioning system is there second one, then dielectric system is there and then wire drive system is there. So, these are the four important components of wire electro discharge machining process. So, this pulse <coughs> power supply system it is a DC pulse power system. So, only difference between this EDM and wire EDM process 
because here we are using very small diameter wire as a as an electrode okay so we cannot expect a very big size crater so we need a very small size crater for getting this small size crater we have to use high frequency of the current high frequency current so current in the range of 1 megahertz is used frequency of the current in the range of 1 megahertz is used so this is the pulse frequency so because of this high frequency of this current your greater size actually reduces and your accuracy and surface finish improves and also this greater size is very small also this erosion of the wire also will be very small because of we are using high frequency current so wire will not break frequently so small wire such is used current carrying capacity it is less than 20 ampere so we cannot go beyond 20 ampere because whatever diameter very less diameter we are using as in wire so we cannot give more wire more current to the wire so in that case this wire will break because we are due to the high heat generation now second part component of the wire radium system is the dielectric system so already i told that deionized water is used as the dielectric in case of wire radium system wire radium process so it is substitute so kerosene is substituted by deionized water so because very small gap is maintained in between this wire and the workpiece so that is 25 micron so this dielectric fluid should have a high viscosity uh, sorry low viscosity it should have a low viscosity if it has a low viscosity it can easily pass through the entire electrode gap so efficient flow to maintain a efficient flow of this dielectric water which has a very low viscosity compared to other dielectric fluid is used in wire radium process also it is easily available <coughs> and it has a very good desirable thermal properties because huge amount of heat is generated and that heat if it is not removed from the entire electrode gap immediately what happens this wire it will also become heat up because erosion happens both from the wire and also both from the wire and workpiece so if it is not removed very very fast very quickly what happens this wire will break after some time so that's why it should have very good thermal cap uh, thermal properties so it will cool down very easily so it should cool down very easily it should have easy availability and also it should have a pollution free working so this dielectric should not pollute the working environment or working area this dielectric should not pollute and it should not have any fire hazard so because every total thing is not immersed into the dielectric so there should not be any fire hazard in case of wire radium process and also high cooling rate is also an one of the important parameter requirement for this wire radium process <coughs> because of this high cooling rate this whatever the recast layer generated into the workpiece surface so it th thickness of this recast layer also reduces if the heat can be released from the workpiece very quickly after melting and vaporization of this crater so whatever this recast layer generated after each spark each all it, it also reduces so very thin recast layer is generated if you are using the deionized water as an dielectric so using the deionized water we get high material removal rate better surface finish also we get high tool wear rate so we get high material removal rate on the workpiece also at the same time tool wear rate also very high as these wires are not reused so whatever tool wear rate is there so it does not matter because these wires are not reused because there will be uniform non-uniform cross-section of the wire after machining so it is discarded after 
using it so it is discarded so it is not reused so these are the properties important properties of dns water advantageous properties of dns water another uh, but it has certain disadvantage also because this water so it has a corrosion problem obviously there is a corrosion problem is there if you are using as a water as a dielectric so this workpiece and other other uh, machine tools the some parts of the machine tools also will corrode if we use this dianis water so to reduce that actually some inhibitors some additives are used so this additor additives actually inhibits the corrosion problem by the dianis water <coughs> So, water delivery system, this uh, the dielectric delivery system is through the nozzle and an external nozzle is used. Through this nozzle, at the entire input gap, dielectric is delivered to flush away the debris from the machining zone. So, more efficient way of dielectric delivery is to provide a stream of DNS water along the axis of the wire. So, if we can flow the stream of DNS water along the axis of the wire, so it will be very efficient to flush away the debris from the internal electrode gap. <coughs> Cost of this dielectric can be lowered down if we can reuse the DNS water after filtration. So, it can be reused this dielectric fluid DNS water can be reused after filtering it. So, 5 micron size disposable paper filter is used to for filtering the debris particles from the dielectric. So, some additives are mixed which I already told to minimize the corrosion or rusting problem of the workpiece as well as the machine tool by the DNS water. Now, third component of that <coughs> wire radium process is positioning system. So, this wires has to be positioned very accurately because we are going to cut a very complicated surface or contour from the workpiece surface. So, using a CNC control 2 axis, 2 axis control table we can use, we can use a 2D complicated surface we can use. So, this one actually uh, this CNC table actually works in a adaptive control mode. Adaptive control mode is that if there is a <laughs> because we are cutting the uh, cutting the workpiece in a complicated contour. So, if sometimes actually the tool actually this wire touches the workpiece surface, there is a cut of protection circuit is there and also there is servo system is there, servo system what happens? The servo system actually retracts the workpiece away from the wire and the gap in between the tool or wire and the workpiece is flushed with the dielectric. So, that any debris which is clogged in between this wire and workpiece can be removed. So, in case of short circuiting debris bridging gap or wire workpiece to close. So, moves back the reef to establish the proper cutting gap conditions. Now, fourth one is the wire drive system. So, there is a take up coil reel and there is a releasing reel is there. Okay. So, it delivers the phase where a bigger size reel is used, it delivers the phase where keeps wire always under tension. So, there is a wire tension system is there, it is required so that the wire should be under tension every time. So, moves in machining zone as straight wire because for better quality of the machine surface. If, if this wire tensioning system is not there, what happens? This wire <coughs> may touch the workpiece surface, it may bend, it may touch to the workpiece surface. So, it may generate taper streaks or vibration marks into the workpiece surface. So, to avoid that taper streaks and vibration marks and for getting high quality machine surface, there is a better wire tensioning system and also wire guiding system is required. So, it minimizes the wire breakage frequently and wire guides by wire is done by 
wire guiding system by are uh, is done by sapphire or diamond <coughs> rollers are there or diamond or uh, sapphire or uh, diamond wire guides are there okay so this wire guiding system it should pass through the wire guiding system so wire movement towards the take up spool series of tension rollers to the te to the take up spool spool so there is a series of tensioning rollers rollers are there to make a straight wire nowadays this wire edm systems are actually fully automated so it comes with a automatic reloading of the broken wire so in during machining to make the, to make the machining process on <coughs> and on attended okay so it to make the machining process automatic or on attended by any worker so nowadays actually this automatic reloading of the broken wire is there so it will automatically reload and it will pass to the wire guiding and tensioning system and automatically this machining will start if during machining this wire breakage is there so it enhances the productivity and also this it run the machine unattended by any worker so wire material may be small diameter wire material less than 0.15 micron it is made of molybdenum steel or if it is large diameter wire is used 0.15 to 3 micro, uh, 3 mm okay so in that case copper or brass wires are used wire is discarded after use after we are at the leading surface due to sparking no longer remains round so these are the different advances in wire edm system automatic wire threading self restarting and improved tensioning devices are there incorporation of the cnc features to make a complicated contour into the workpiece so operator can input the wire compensation at the machine easy to interrupt the process change the machining parameter that is current voltage and other settings more easily program the wire to follow a complex path in two axes for making the dies for stamping fine blanking and extrusion 2d through holes possible to tilt the wire in position other than the perpendicular to the x and y have facility to for speedy automatic realignment of the wire and it can do the 3d machining also using two additional axes that is u and b that is tilting forward and backward and tilting left and right this wire can be tilted so drive motor steel the wires towards front and back that is v axis left and right that is u axis extent of tilt that is plus minus 10 degree will give the limitation of the machine tool in a very versatile machine tool all the four axis can be controlled by a controller and it should have a feedback control system for the work table wire guide position to make a draft or relief in the mold or a constant radius corners along the tapered walls of molds and dies so any kind of 3d surface can be made into the workpiece so this is the cnc wire edm system you can see here v axis u axis is there so taper cutting can be done using this wire edm the cnc wire edm possible to achieve 0.1 micron feet and one micron table positioning is possible and it reduces the corner wear the corner error suppresses the wear vibration and reduces the cracked surface fine finishing power supply quality surface is less than 0.1 micron so there is a concept that is called the stratified wear in stratified wire this core material is made of co copper and the outer shielding outer material is made of this zinc and zinc alloy so this core material is made of copper drawn wire and outer thin layer is made of zinc and zinc alloy low which has a low melting point than the copper so if if we need high metal removal rate it should carry more current than when using the copper wire so wires are not recycled so not very expensive and get zero rate during the process 
So, wire can carry heavier load if it can absorb more amount of heat without heating, without breaking. So, heavier load means higher energy per spark. So, higher material removal rate, higher cutting speed. So, if we if we give more current to the wire, so obviously there will be higher energy per spark will be generated. So, material removal rate will be high. So, in that case, there will be wire breakage will be there. So, to avoid that wire breakage, this this kind of stratified wire is used. Where core material is core of this wire is copper, and outside there is a small layer of zinc or zinc alloy is there. The melting point of zinc is very very less than the melting point of copper. So, during machining, during sparking, actually this outside this zinc layer will melt. But core temperature it does not reach to the melting point of the copper. Okay. So, zinc melts and even evaporates at a temperature lower than the melting temperature of the copper. So, this core of the stratified wire gets no hotter, it does not become hotter than the temperature at which the outer layer zinc will vaporize. So, it does not break, hence, more powerful sparks can be discharged. So, MRR is related to the current density as the wire diameter reduces. So, your current density will be also high. Okay, so, high mat so, you can generate high energy or spark uh, energy power spark. Okay, so, your material removal rate will be high without breakage of the wire. So, Charmail corporation they actually developed this kind of stratified wire. And this kind of stratified wire is also they are uh, it is not reused. So, another concept is the bowing of air or wire. So, because very small gap that is 25 micron is maintained in between this tool, in between this wire and the workpiece, and huge amount of <coughs> so workpiece is eroded by violent extremely localized and momentary action of the spark and gas bubble actually erupted. So, this gas bubble actually comes in between this inter related gap. While these gas bubbles are generated, this it comes in from the inter related gap and because of this huge pressure by these gas bubbles, it will actually bow, it will bend the wire. So, because of this air pressure, uh, pressure by these gas bubbles, it will pressurize on the wire and wire bends and bowing of the wire happens and it tends to drag the wire on bends and sharp corners as it advances and it leads to the inaccuracy due to the different interrelated gap. So, this remedy is that your wire guiding system should be strong enough. So, we have to make a very strong wire guiding system so that more tension can be given to the wire so that this wire should not bow during machining or during sparking. It should not bend during sparking. So, this process variables, linear cutting rates, it depends on the thickness of this workpiece material, but not on the complexity of the cut. So, it depends this linear feed rate of this wire, it depends on the thickness of this workpiece material. So, highest wire speed is 40 millimeter per second. So, porous process characteristics because of this craters generated because of the sparks craters are generated on the workpiece surface, this matte finish is actually generated. So, most of this OIDTM uh, process is used for making dyes, 2D or 3D complicated dyes. So, it needs the lubrication. So, for better lubrication this, this kind of matte finish actually required. So, it helps in better lubrication this matte finish. So, it helps in increased dye life. Surface finish as low as 0.1 micron can be achieved and tolerances plus minus 7 micron can be achieved. So, these are the applications it is used for making dyes, fabrication of press tools. Electrodes it is it is used for making fabrication of the electrodes which is used for other EDM process. So, with this we shall stop this wire EDM process. Now, we shall start Okay, so, there are some applications of this wire EDM. So, you can see this kind of stator for the motor is can be 
made, this kind of complicated surface on a 2D complicated surface can be generated. So, which is used for this stator core is the stamping die machined by this wire EDM, okay. can be machined by the wire EDM, this kind of complex contour on a 2D surface can be generated by wire EDM process. This is the example of complex shape that can be cut with the wire EDM and tapered cutting mechanism. So, this kind of inclined surface can be generated by a tilted wire in wire EDM process. So, now we shall start with electro discharge grinding. So, grinding we know this conventional grinding process, they are one grinding wheel where the abrasive particles are bonded. So, this grinding operation can be conventional grinding or hybrid grinding, but in hybrid grinding process one of the non-conventional machining process is also attached along with the conventional grinding operation like electrochemical grinding where normal grinding process is combined with the electrochemical process. So, it is called electrochemical grinding like electro discharge grinding where normal grinding operation is combined with the electro discharge machining. So, it is called electro discharge grinding. Another one is the electro discharge diamond grinding. So, they are normal grinding along with the ADM process is combined that is called electro discharge diamond grinding process. So, these are the different grinding operations, hybrid grinding operations are there. So, this electro discharge grinding also a hybrid grinding operation. So, it is a mass reducing process that uses a rotating grinding wheel to remove the electrically conductive material by means of a controlled repetitive spark discharges. A dielectric fluid, fluid is used to flush away the chips, regulate the discharges and cools the wheel and the workpiece. We know that in normal EDM operation, so there is a very problem of the dielectric flushing system. So, dielectric flushing system should be as good as possible, so that whatever debris are there that should not clog the interrelated gap and because very small gap is maintained, if some debris is actually closed, there will be a short circuiting. After short circuiting, it will damage both the tool and the workpiece. So, effective flushing is required. So, in case of electro discharge grinding, say graphite grinding wheel is used. This graphite grinding wheel like normal grinding operation, this grinding wheel actually rotates with a very high RPM. So, because of this rotational motion of this grinding wheel and this graphite grinding wheel which is metallic, metallic graphite grinding wheel and the workpiece both are actually this part of the grinding wheel and the workpiece both are actually immersed into the dielectric medium and as the grinding wheel rotates at a high RPM. So, effectively this interrelated gap is flushes away by the dielectric fluid. So, whatever these debris materials are there, it can be removed very easily by using this electro discharge grinding operation. So, this process characteristics a rotating wheel electrically conductive material usually graphite. So, this graphite is taken because it is inexpensive and easy to this grinding wheel easy to fabricate by using a soft grinding graphite graphite material. So, it is used as a tool. So, there is no abrasive particles are used like in conventional grinding operation. So, here a total wheel is actually conducting material, no abrasive particles are used and this grinding wheel does not touch the workpiece surface. So, it is like a electrode in case of EDM process. So, this grinding wheel works as an electrode. Okay. So, part of the grinding wheel and workpiece is immersed into the dielectric and they are connected to the pulse power supply. So, rotating motion of the wheel ensures the effective flushing of the dielectric into the di interrelated gap. So, mechanism of matter removal is same as the ADM except that rotary motion of the tool that is wheel helps in effective ejection of the molten material. So, whatever these molten materials are there. So, whatever the sparks are generated because of sparks, this material is removed by melting and vaporization, whatever this molten material is there. So, it is effectively removed or flushed away by the rotating motion of the wheel. So, no direct physical control contact between the grinding, rotating grinding wheel and the workpiece. So, any kind of fragile and thin section workpieces can be machined by this process.
fragile and thin section specimens can be easily machined without any distortion. So economical, it is very economical compared to the conventional diamond grinding operation. So metal removal takes place due to the melting and vaporization, not by the shearing like in conventional grinding operation. And electro discharge grinding is used for dressing metal bonded diamond grid grinding wheels. So it is used for metal bonded diamond grinding wheel. So for dressing of this metal bonded diamond grinding wheel, it is used because the sparking occurs in between these bonded material of the diamond grinding wheel and the rotating graphite tool. So whatever this bonded material removes, so it removes the bond material by melting rather than mechanical shear as in conventional dressing. So dressing occurs. So this bonded material is removed by melting operation. Okay, so this dressing of the grinding wheel, metal bonded grinding wheel can be done by this process. So it can process very hard and difficult to machine materials. So here you can see this is the rotating grinding wheel, graphite grinding wheel is there. So this is the workpiece and you can see this is the sparking occurs. After sparking these are the debris particles which is flushed away from the entire electrode gap by the rotating grinding wheel. So this wheel actually it is a graphite, so it is a contacting material, contacting material, graphite is used. So you can see here this rotating electrode disc is there. So it is servo controlled if this gap between this grinding wheel, metallic grinding wheel and the workpiece is clogged using the debris particles. Okay, so in that case actually the servo system actually removes the, keeps away these X, Y table away from the rotating grinding wheel and so that this whatever these debris particles can be easily flushed away from the entire electrode gap. So current used in case of electro discharge machine is 0 0.5 to 200 ampere and a voltage used 40 to 80 volt and pulse frequency 50 to 250 kilohertz. So maximum wheel surface this after periphery surface is 180 meter per minute in case of electro discharge grinding. So electro discharge grinding servo system maintains a constant inter electrode gap by feeding the workpiece into the wheel. If debris somehow blocks the gap, the workpiece is retracted back to allow the debris to be flushed out of the gap. So electro discharge grinding capable to machine extremely hard materials say carbides and its efficiency is two to three times higher than the normal diamond grinding operation. So it is faster than the normal diamond grinding operation, conventional diamond grinding operation for cutting carbide tools. So it uh, achieves good surface finish 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 micron, high accuracy plus minus 2.5 micron. So now another hybrid process that is called electro discharge grinding wheel. So in case of this electro discharge grinding, there is no abrasive particles are used, but in electro discharge diamond grinding operation, metal bonded diamond abrasive particles are used. So you can see here, this is the metal bonded diamond abrasive particles. So this is the grinding wheel is there, which is metal bonding, metal bonding material, metallic bonding material is there. And these are the abrasive particles at the periphery of this grinding wheel. So these abrasive particles actually maintains. So this is the exerted view of the finishing uh, machining zone. You can see these abrasive particles, diamond abrasive particles maintain the inter electrode gap. <coughs> so in between these two abrasive particles, what about this dielectric material is there. The spark occurs in between this dielectric material here. So the spark occurs here in between this dielectric material here dielectric fluid here. So spark occurs in between this tool, metallic bonding, uh, metallic bonding material and the workpiece. Okay, so part of the bonding material and part of the workpiece melts and vaporizes and machining and become very soft. When this soft molten material is there, at the same time these abrasive particles are also moving. So these abrasive particles, diamond abrasive particles easily removes that soft molten material from the workpiece. Okay, so like this actually there are two process, EDM process which 
melts the bond, uh, melts the or softens the material because of the sparking. So this material from the workpiece become mel, um, becomes in a molten condition. It becomes soft, and abrasive particles easily can remove this soft material. Okay, so you can easily can understand that this life of this metal bonded grinding uh, diamond grinding wheel is 10 times higher than the normal diamond grinding conventional grinding wheel so this part of the this grinding wheel and workpiece is kept inside the is immersed into the dielectric chamber so this is the dial uh, means working chamber machining chamber this is the workpiece so th like this this machining is going on and there is a filtering system is there so it will filter so whatever this dielectric is there it will filter and it will return back to the tank and using a pump after filtering it will go to the dielectric means uh, machining chamber again so this workpiece actually it is fixed on a xyz table which is controlled by a cnc machine so hybrid this hybrid process involves machining of a hard material using advantages of EDM as well as conventional grinding operation. Water or water based cutting fluid is used as the dielectric. Metal bonded diamond grid wheel is used in place of simple electrically conductive wheel like graphite which is used in EDM process, ADG process, electro grinding process. Sparking takes place between metallic bonding material and the workpiece and heat generated during the sparking softens the workpiece material and hence the machining by diamond abrasive particle becomes very easier. Sparking in interelectrode gap during electrolytic diamond grinding results in continuous dressing of the grinding wheel. So this sparking occurs and, uh, uh, and this this machining occurs in between this in, in the workpiece as well as uh, sparking occurs in the uh, in the metallic bonded grinding wheel also. So dressing of this grinding wheel also occurs simultaneously. So that is no dressing operation is required during electrolysis diamond grinding. So there is a continuous dressing of the grinding wheel hence the wheel does not clog as a result cutting properties of the grinding wheel are stabilized. Uniform grinding operations are maintained. So this truing and grinding operation using this electro diamond grinding you can true, you can do the truing operation or dressing operation. So use for pressure is truing or dressing and profile generation of metallic metal bonded grinding wheel employing this NC concept. Electro diamond grinding also named as electro contact abrasion, abrasion finishing electro contact abrasion finishing ECAF employed for cutting blanks of various materials profiles and dimensions. You can see any kind of surface contour surface can be generated on a metal bonded wheel. So this is the metal bonded wheel. So this is the electrode here. So this here this machining is going on on the metal bonded wheel. So, any kind of contour or curvature can be generated here using this electrode, round electrode. Okay, so, this workpiece is here metal bonded wheel is rotated here and by giving this up and down motion and x, y, z motion also any kind of shapes can be generated. So, by truing and dressing operation. So, any kind of shapes on into the metal bonded wheel can be any kind of form shapes can be generated on a metal bonded grinding wheel by using this electro grinding operation. So capabilities and applications used for machining of ceramics, super alloys, other metal matrix composites. Metal emol rate in case of electro diamond grinding is very high. It is 270 millimeter cube per minute. Wheel life is 120 minute. Wheel life means dressing between two uh, means time between two uh, successive dressing operations. So, it is 120 minute and good surface finish is achieved 
from 10.3 to very high to 0.15 micron based on your applications without any cracks. <coughs> Dressing and truing of metal bonded diamond wheels or other than uh, diamond any kind of abrasive wheels metal bonded abrasive wheels can be done this dressing and truing operation can be done any kind of shape contour shapes can be generated and wheel life in terms of this period between two dressing is increased by a factor of 5 to 10 times in case of electro discharge diamond branding dressing than after traditional abrasive dressing operation so accuracy achieved during electro, uh, electrical discharge diamond grinding is better than that of conventional diamond grinding so thank you